Meet Patty Mayo, YouTuber, Bounty Hunter, Seaman, using his modified decommissioned 25-foot Coast Guard boat, Patty hunts for crab along the Lost Coast and donates his cash to local rescues and shelters. Today is his first day. As the captain of this crab fishing boat, I stay here in the warm seat and the crew goes out on the deck and all the crazy stuff. That's the uh, benefit of being a captain. You know, the captain can drive like this. See this? One inch away, one inch clearance from that fucking... I actually hear it scraping. But it's not. You're, you're, you hear yourself lying, because that's what's happening. Certainly no scraping going on. Toot the horn, Kyle, when the horn needs tooting, you fucking toot it. Uh, 5150, welcome aboard everybody, the 5150 Pleasure Craft 2000. Today we're heading over to the Columbia River Bar, also known as Humboldt Bay Inlet, also known as one of the most dangerous areas of the Pacific Ocean. Today we have a small craft advisory, don't worry folks, we are a medium-ish sized craft. Next up, Wave Town USA. Patty's cousin and social media manager Brendan comes along for the inaugural voyage. Wow, you must mean business. Oh, it's it's captain. I raised to captain's level now. We're gonna go out and some shit, Kyle. I'm excited. I'm actually more excited than I thought I was gonna be. Yeah, I can help you. I can help you. Well, we just what do we do? How do we drop them? So you kind of just throw it like you're throwing a bundle of rope. Local crab fisherman Nate was hired to teach Patty how to catch crab. It looks simple, but a mistake could mean getting pulled overboard and underwater in seconds. I mean, it's kind of in a line. My first little pod string. As Nate throws pots overboard, Patty marks their location on a map. Pots must soak for at least 24 hours before they can be pulled. You okay? Don't look at the camera, Kyle. The next day, Patty and Nate head back out to see what they've caught. We're going to go out and, uh, Check on one of our crab pots. Most boats would sink in these conditions, but the patrol boat cuts through the waves like butter. The biggest risk the crew faces here is a rogue breaking wave that could roll the boat. Show signs of promise, but Patty soon realizes he needs bigger pots and more of them. Well, however you want it, we can give it to you. We can give them to you live, you know, still alive. We can give them to you cooked or however you want them. Guy wants to donate some crab to us. Fresh crab. We're just looking for the best place to be able to, you know, donate and get it to people who, who need it. Hold on. Hold on. Our big boss is taking it now. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, you can donate them to us, yeah. All right, brother, we'll get it done. We'll, uh, we'll either see you today or tomorrow. We'll get you some crap. Okay, no problem. Thanks, sir. 
God bless you. Yes, sir. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, we got a place we can bring crap. Nate, if we pay him extra, can he deliver them? A few thousand dollars later, and Patty has a stack of crab pots that weigh 85 pounds each before any gear is added. Before the pots can go into the water, they must be marked with a fishing license number. Fishing along the Lost Coast is heavily regulated to protect marine life. Once again, loaded up, the crew head back out to sea. Next stop, Trinidad. Nate baits the pots with squid, black cod, and mackerel, a trifecta of delicious crab treats. As they exit the channel, the boat glides over a series of 14-foot waves into calmer open water. 38, 39, 40. The male Dungeness crabs Patty is after live in 50 to 150 feet of water. To be legal, the crabs must be at least 5 and 3 quarter inches in length. How you do it, boys? Literally on the 40 mark, baby! We're really working! Yeah, 100 pound pots, you gotta roll them out. One pot less than a minute, 40 seconds each. Guys, Woo! fast pace. Yeah. Thanks, Nate! Yeah, bro. Congratulations, buddy. We're setting the first line. Yeah, man. Well, look at that, look at them bloody buckets. Oh, I love your bloody oh, buckets. Bloody slump. I didn't realize right. you had to drink them. Now what? Whatever you want. Did you want to pick one up or you want to yeah, just let them sell? No, I want to go see that first one. Okay. How long do you think that took? About 10 minutes, right? Yeah. I want to see what 10 minutes gets us. You get it? Yeah. It's just the current's going the other way, so it. Can you go over, I'm in neutral. Reverse a little? Yep. That's a big one, too. Woo! Woo! 10 minutes, we got one crab. Fuck yeah. One crab in 10 minutes is good news. In 24 hours, Patty hopes the pots will be packed full. This is this is good enough for a commercial. Even a commercial buyer would look at this and say that's good. Really? Can you hold them? Wait, wait, hold it back one more time. Ow! Ah! <laughs> Let's see. Ah! Pat's first crab bite. Little bitch. <laughs> Did you draw some blood? Yeah, <laughs> little <laughs> bitch. <laughs> On the way back to port, Patty enjoys a fine, refreshing bang, but his celebration is cut short. All right, so what's the problem? Okay, he first asked, um, did you like your new pots? Yeah. He said yes. And then he said, did you take a picture of them? And he, I said yes. We Katniss. Took, we took hours of video and many photos. Yeah. And he's like, good, he's never gonna see him again. It's like, why? What the fuck's going on? He goes, I didn't check the forecast and obviously you didn't either. We're getting 20 foot waves at 20 seconds tomorrow. And I was like, what, so they're gonna get swept off somewhere? He said, no, they're gonna be buried and you're not gonna be able to. 35 foot seas put Patty's brand new crab pots at risk of being buried in the sand. He must wait until the storm passes and the seas are calm enough to go back. If the pots are stuck, it will cost Patty thousands of dollars. A day and a half later, the storm passes. Patty's pot puller was damaged and must be replaced before he can return to Trinidad. And then when we go up, how high do we want it up? About, about this high right here, right? Check a bar! Oh, this is gonna be sick. Unable to find an aluminium replacement, Patty opts for a steel pole. This seems like a good idea now, but will surely lead to more issues very soon. The pole fits perfectly and would work great if Patty were nine feet tall. Realizing his mistakes, he makes a few measurements with a rope and returns to have the pipe cut. 
With the new pipe on board and time on their side, Patty and crew depart to retrieve their ill-fated pots. Well, we dropped our pots uh, two days ago. We only wanted a 24-hour soak. We got a 48-hour uh, soak because a storm moved in and gave us 35-foot seas. So we're not even sure if we're going to be able to get our pots out of the water without pumping them. So we're going to... We're gonna find out here in short notice. Are you excited? I am. I want to see how this thing goes. There it is. There's one. All right, we're going four. I'm good. I'm just trying to work with the waves to get us right there. Like a seasoned crew, Patty finds the pots and Nate hooks the line. A little teamwork, and the rope is secured to the puller, which works for roughly three seconds and breaks. Is that it? Is that all she gave us for a fuse balloon? That's it? We're out? We'll run. <laughs> what? <laughs> so you gotta go manual the rest of the time? No, I gotta fix, we gotta fucking, well, fix, we gotta fix this fucking problem. <laughs> I guess we could go with the winch, Nate. Okay. Again, I don't know how. There's no space for a hundred feet of the ground line. Here's what I would do. Okay, pull, pull all that out. I'm gonna pull all the way up to like right here. And then we'll attach like this, right here. Yeah, we'll attach that to the ground line. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this. We figured out a solution. Yeah, I'm just keeping the engine in neutral. Just revved up a little bit because the amount of power this thing is. Is it going? Hey, is it going? It's going. I'm, is it spooling oh. right? Yeah, it's spooling better. Well, it's coming up. It might not be stuck. Okay. Got a bunch. Got you some crab for you. I'll come back tomorrow and give you guys another 20. Okay. All right. And I'll swap some buckets out. Yeah. Okay. That work? That works. Cool deal. Thank you, guys. Thank you gentlemen. Popped two crab pots in the Lost Coast yesterday. With bad weather coming in, he needs to pull the pots before it's too late. With the waves reaching over 20 feet last night, the pots have been moved from their marked GPS locations. Patty will have to search by eye until he finds his pots. Oh, it's on our end. See, the problem is in this pot, I didn't put enough. Only got one crab, and look, this this fucking fish is gone. I need to put more next time. I got more, bud. No, you don't eat the fucking fish bone. Eat that shit. Good stuff, bud. He's choking on the fish bone. Why are you eating the, why would you do that? Way better stuff, man. Don't choke. Oh my God. Are you choking? No, he's just like swallowing the spine. <laughs> yeah, that's mine.
This time, Patty resets each pot by placing in fresh bait and throwing the pot back in the ocean. Another lesson learned. The current is so strong where Patty placed his pots, the boys are being pulled underwater and out of sight. Come here, you little fucker. When Patty does find one, it's not coming up easy. Bitch. 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 Finally, Patty gets in his groove. He ghost rides the boat to generate slack when pulling the pots up. Stay. Give me something good! Two? Okay. Male? Oh yeah. Commercial. Legal. It's two. Yeah. resulted in the boat ghost riding over Patty's line and getting stuck in the prop. Prop wrap. No, oh, no. Quite an unfortunate ending to the day. Typically, crab fishermen don't lose any pots unless their boat sinks or they fall off in poor weather. I'm oh, bad. I'm bad. Somehow, Patty has managed to no. lose most no, of his pots. It? Let's go get him up. Come on. Here we see a wild Patty Mayo asleep. Nocturnal animals, Patty Mayos generally sleep till at least noon. Patrick, what? It's time to get up. Yeah. Why? Because you have to go bait stuff. And you have to go grab it. I don't want baiting right now. Excuse you? Okay, I'll get up. Alright, I'm giving you five minutes. Okay. That's it. Is he up? He's up. Once Patty has drunk a sufficient amount of bang and is fully awake, Patty well. hurries to retrieve one of his bait cups before it's too late. Saved it. Plan is to have this thing follow us and go pick up one of our three ill-fated pots. <laughs> These are, look at the waves out here today. These are not gonna be easy pots to get. Yeah, I know. See how it's coming in, see how it's crashing sideways? I wanted the home button to be over here, so if the drone landed itself, it would land in calm waters. Where, oh where, have my crab pots. One's got a single fucking buoy on it. So how many are left out here? Three. The last one we, we were fucking with was over here yesterday. And we definitely had eyes on two of them yesterday. Yeah, 100%. Wait, right there. Someone may have taken them. If they're not here. Or the lines got cut. Buoys got cut by a boat coming in. How did I lose three goddamn pots? Are you fucking crapping me right now? This crabbing thing is no joke. I, mean, I don't see a single one of my three. I don't think weather took all of them. We saw him yesterday. God damn it! And then I, those five in Trinidad we can't get for a while. I might as well just honestly order. Two pots? 
Brent, I just might as well order fucking eight new pots. God damn it, how do you lose eight pots? What a effing R I am. Another unsuccessful attempt to pull his last remaining crab pots result in a particularly crabby patty. Well, we are uh, at the same place we laughed last off. No less, crabs. Last off? Last off. You know what? You need you need to not. Can you can't get any crabs, that's for dang sure. Fuck me, I guess. Alright, well I guess I gotta get a guy's number. Call a guy. And that's only gonna cost me about fifteen hundred dollars. You see the disappointment on my face. After weeks of searching for the parts he lost off the coast of Trinidad and no luck, Patty has almost given up hope. Hey right, folks, we here in Trinidad looking for me pots here. You know, I couldn't find just a little old three wee pots there in the bay. But ain't having no bit problem here finding the fucking pots here out in the middle of the ocean, eh? Saw a couple of them there porpoises on the way in. Now, I for lack of a better term, lost these pots. And they've been sitting out here for weeks. Finally, Patty sees his target. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh! But he still has to pull them. <laughs> Jesus. Here it comes. Great success! Oh, this one little lone little guy. Whoa. And just like that, he's found another pot. This one full of large male Dungeness, ready to be donated. If Patty can keep them in the boat, the crab gods are truly smiling on Patty today. Huh? You're gonna leave in the pot? Oh, they ate, ate one of their friends. They ate two of their friends. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, probably ten total. Nice. Well, what the fuck? This isn't watching. Uh-oh. As he finds his four missing pot, Whoa! might as well test his luck with a first time drone flight. Yeah. We have too many. It's <laughs> a good thing. Yeah. He returns to Eureka, satisfied with dozens of crab ready to donate. Ow! Ow! Way past commercial. Three past commercial. Well, he's big. Four past, way past. Oh my god. <sighs> Big boy. What's up, dude? Whoa, that's a big guy. Yeah, <laughs> last little guy in there. Oh, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> and you ripped their claws off itself. Got some big ones in there today. Oh, sure did. Got 20 nice ones for you. Nice. Oh, yeah? Unfortunately, when I have to only have me and her on my boat, 20s are max. I had to throw back like six of them. Thank you, God bless you. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll see you again shortly. All right, good.
voiceover guys like, look how majestic Patty is, drinking his bang. I wish I was that bang, can even put his lips up to me. Over the past few months, Patty has started a non-profit called Cause Crabs, where he donates the crab he catches to people in need. An anonymous group of local fishermen have started to take a special interest in Patty as he encroaches on their territory. Today, Patty is helping Raven learn the ins and outs of piloting the safe boat so that Patty can eventually put all of his focus towards catching crab. But he may have to watch out for locals sabotaging his pots or worse. Just aim, all I want you to do is focus on doing this and keeping that little thing at the zero, okay? And then I'm gonna say, Mark, and you're gonna hit this and then wait. Okay. You put my PFD on for you. Ow, 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 ow. What? I just smashed my vagina. Did you, well, I'll smash your vagina. There's no written rule who can drop their parts where, but when a new fisherman comes to town with a boat that can go out in weather that most others can't, it's bound to ruffle some feathers. Oh, Peter, here, I'm that fucking looper! Oh, the crab pot's pulling behind us? Keep us into the waves now. Oh, you're a female. Bye. Coming up far, coming up far, last one, last one, little left, little left, little straight, there we go. She's lining up good. She's lining up great and neutral, got her. Back on land, Patty gets a bit existential about which crabs truly deserve to be donated. I want to see crabs get big, and I don't really like the crabs that are smaller than the whole thing. So like this one, that's commercial. But that's this is the size I want to see, oversized. See him? I can still get it around him. I can still get it around him. Him? Big, big. Commercial. I mean, they're all like commercial size. He's commercial, but you know, he can live another for a couple years. Look at the amount of meat difference, you know? This is probably only a year difference, but th there's double the meat, right? You're gonna wait a year for that crab, like when you can just feed someone a day with it? Well, because sustainability is a huge thing. It's the smallest one we have. Let's see how many under are not oversized. Kim? Yeah, I'm talking about you. Barely over sport. We'll let him live. Another guy, barely over. So I say that these, one, two, three, four, five, we keep these. I debate on these. Look on my mat. Let go. Those are the ones I want. I'm gonna get these boys in a pot for the night if we're not gonna bring them over. This thing gets stinkier and stinkier every time I open it. Like a like a girl you took on one date, she won't fucking go home. She leaves all her shit, so she has an excuse to come back. Thanks. I'm just kidding. But leave that in the edit so Nate's like feel sad for a second, but then leave this part in the edit too so he doesn't feel unsad. Today, Patty's cousin and social media manager Brendan is in town. Eager to impress Brendan that he wakes before noon, Patty has taken it upon himself to wake everybody else up. Oh, fuck me. Cabin inspection. Fuck me. Mm. Don't get don't get the don't get those on camera. Why are you yeah. texting me instead right. of just coming up and seeing me? Oh I thought you were asleep. Bro, what time do you think I get up, bro? I've been up since seven. 
Yeah, because you set the alarm off. <laughs> what were you doing to set the alarm off? What do you think I was doing? Smoking weed. <laughs> it's another beautiful morning on the boat. What's this for? Welcome to Baiting with Patty. Today on the show, we're going to show you how to cut bait using a table saw, like a professional. What? This is the proof that you can do anything you put your mind to. You just got uh, frozen fish juice oh. all over you. Oh, <laughs> like, that is gross, dude. Ugh. The spray. Yeah. yeah. Dude, look at that. Perfect. These bait fish are as hard as wood when frozen solid. This saw will save precious time and energy. You love it? This is fucking, this is great. This is the best thing ever. Is that a phone? What? It was for my mechanic. Yo, brother, what's going on? Good. I'm on the boat now, so if you want to come down now, this would be a perfect time. Yeah, I'm at, uh, on K Dock. Yeah, same spot you came to last time. How you doing? Good, man. How are you? Good, brother. Good to see you. Me too. It's just these two right here, right? Yeah, because I, re I replaced those. No battery back there. No. It's just a bank back there, sorry. Oh, okay. It's just a. Okay. Um, yeah, let's tighten this stuff up. And we'll fire the motors up and we'll check the charging output. Okay. Patty swiftly bites down the docks towards a nearby boat hardware store with nearly perfect form. A true master of land and sea. Wow. I'm just gonna go drop these at the Jaws. This probably take me less time than it'll take you. Unlikely. Yeah, and just, uh, yeah, should be texting our way back and I'll be here. Sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the Patty Krabby, Patty Krabby Krabby Patty fishing boat. This boat's a crab fishing boat. Used to be a decommissioned U.S. Coast Guard boat. We're gonna go out on some heavy seas today, folks. I need you to keep your hands and all limbs inside the vehicle at all times. Keep your seatbelts on, your life preservers on, your PFDs need to be worn at all times while crossing the bars. That understood, I need to hear a verbal yes. Yes, Captain. Please say no. All right, fantastic. We're gonna be pulling up roughly four pot today. Maybe eight, we don't know. It depends on the soaking status out there in the seas. Sea looks pretty wet today, so hope y'all are uh, dry, ready to get moist. Here we go. Mm. Bangs up. In the event of a catastrophic emergency, the letters on your doors and on all doors in this vessel, you'll notice are upside down. That's in the event that we end up upside down. You can read, you can't read, can't you? Now, you need to practice your reading while you're upside down panicking that you're gonna drown. Looks like we have a newcomer on board. Young man. Hey. You want a chance to pull a pot today? I don't know. I'll be on the back deck working with you. I'm not really prepared to get too wet. Well, sir, you signed up for an ocean voyage. I did not this sign is a uh, non-refundable Groupon. Kidnapped. This is a non-refundable Groupon. I see you sign up for the kidnapping package. That's great. I really. That's nice. <laughs> One of the most common mistakes when throwing a pot is getting your line hooked after you throw it. It can result in a lost pot. Nothing like a hard day's work getting these crabs. So, how much do crabs go for? Like a couple bucks a piece? Fifteen bucks a piece, seven bucks a pound. No. Yep. Yeah. So you're saying there's actually money in crabs if you do it right? Yeah. Huge money in crabs. Fuck, guys. I'm gonna sell crab, bad crab, for bad weed. That's the most humble thing I can do. Mark it. All right. We're hoping today we need a pull. We got about six in store, so we need about 14 crab to go home with so we can get a full donation. Where's my rod? Oh. 
What's that, babe? Whenever you're ready, let me know. I am ready. And then you're just gonna keep going, remember that direction of this speed. Yeah. Good speed. Go a little bit closer to it. Looks like it's pushing you to the right. Yeah, the waves are pushing me a little bit. Okay, you're good. It's a good approach. That's perfect. I should be able to snag her. Well, you know when you're going nooch. Got her? Yep, keep going. All right. So I get the flack. Okay, Nooch. Let's go uh, just out of gear, forward port. Okay, good. All right, Nooch. Neutral. Neutral. I am. I got a bait to give me. We got some crap. We got a couple babies. Okay. Yeah, they look big enough for sure. Oh, it's a little girl. It's a little girl. You have a penis. You have a penis. You are a girl. And you have a penis. All right, wanna grab me some new bait? I need one of these, just one of these bags and two Scotties. A Scotty is a crabbing term for the cup that holds the bait. Patty quickly switches out a couple of Scotties and the pot is ready to go back in. Mark, how many did you get? Three good ones. I think I see it. Yeah, that should be it. Looks like her. Keeps wanting to go underwater, so you have to go right with the current. Yeah. And then drive that direction so I can get that slack. Yeah, keep going this way. All right. Okay, good, patrol. Okay. What's the one right on her ass? That, see, we're in the middle, so I don't know if that was 76. So it's probably 76? Oh yeah, I see it now, yeah. Oh, we got some in this one. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. This is a freaking great one. Patty pulls the pot to find right. several large males. He must inspect and measure each one to make sure they're legal. These days, Patty is so familiar with crab that he can yeah. eyeball most yeah. without his measurer. Female. Oh shit, we gotta get B his license. We can get 30 on board while he's here. I'm really bad at tests. Male or female? Uh, female, right? No, male. Brendan hasn't perfected the art okay. of eyeballing a crab. All right, let's go a little bit further away from this guy's buoy and then we'll drop. You wanna go towards our other buoys? Wherever you want, just, just take it us away from his. All right, I'll go this way. The next day, Patty and his crew set out on another day of near perfect conditions. Wait, I think I see one. I think that's it to the left, right there. Yeah, that looks like one. I think that's the one we just, yeah. All right, just let me know when uh, I'll mark this You're one. 77, your pot's way over here. What are you looking at? Well, I was zoomed out, that's fine. The neutral, let me know when to go forward. Going forward. Nope. Nope. Yeah. It appears they found a crap hot spot in this area. Nice! Beautiful! Good evening! That's a male, right? Yeah. yeah. Six and a quarter and bigger. I think that's right. We're not close to anybody if you want to drop here, baby. Yeah. Looks good here? Yeah. All right. Fuck! What? Uh, you marked that one, but remember the number because we may have, I think we just lost that pot. 86. Fuck. God fucking damn it. It, want, it might be that one up to the right. Alright, let me know we go forward. Keep going. Forward. Got it? Girl. Back in the harbor, Patty has one last experimental pot to pull before today's donation. Wait, did you dump a pod right here? Hey, you gotta lock this guy's well over. Just made it.
going? Hey, pretty good. How you doing? Good. Just here to drop off some crab for you guys. Yeah. Some more crab. Oh wow. Good size ones today. Hallelujah. Hell yeah. yeah. We uh, we finally got all of our pots turning. So if you guys want crab every day, you just, it. you tell bring me it. when to stop and I'll just keep bringing it. All right, keep bringing That's it. Crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome, guys. God bless you, man. Thank you very much. Exactly. Here we go. Look at the day of fishing done. It's time to go back, rebate, and get ready for tomorrow. Special day today, ladies and gentlemen, because today we have three people on board with the Sport Crab Fishing Licenses. Which means we can get 30 crab today. Yeah. You know. yeah. Oh, there it is right there. There's uh, 84. See it? Yeah. You might be able to go in reverse, but you could probably just spin around on it. Okay. There's two of them. Yeah. 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 Patty shows extra hustle today, knowing that he can now legally catch 30 crab in a day thanks to Brendan and his new fishing license. Yeah, just stay neutral. Yeah, hold on, my fucking thing is fucked up again because of that second line. This is why I need 200 foot customs. This is a pain in the ass. When tossing the okay, rope, the boy line got wrapped around the I propeller. Think. An extremely on, expensive and Don't dangerous problem if not fixed quickly. Went right down next to the prop. Until the problem is fixed, the boat is unable to move. Oh yeah, we're full wrap. Okay. We got a full wrap of Manchina going on. Don't turn the fucking prop on because I gotta ride the beast while it's on, okay? Don't take it out of my fucking foot off. Okay, lower the prop. And just like that, okay. he's free. Patty quickly pulls the pot. It's a decent catch. He empties it, rebates it, and throws it okay, back neutral. into the neutral. depths below. Another snag. Today is just one of those days. But his hard work has paid off. This is the best pot of the day, with nine commercially legal males just in this one pot. You're doing better than Kyle. <laughs> oh, Brendan and Kyle are both like this. Oh, I feel the line. You feel that? There's seven of them in there. There's at least seven. So, is that what the line's telling you? What we got? What we got? That one in the back's good. Oh, no. What? Yeah, it'll take you. Keep some sport, yeah? Oh, Morgan, don't look at that screen. I told her not to. I won't look at it. <laughs> it's, you do what you have to do. It's entertainment, baby. <laughs> All right, drop it. After getting his line stuck in the propeller yesterday, Patty is sure to play it extra safe today as he holds his line out wide until the pot is safely on the sea floor. Patty and Nate toss out the females and undersized crab and put the keepers in a bucket as Morgan battles a touch of seasickness inside the hull. Ah! You're good, you're good. Blaze is pushing me, babes! Go, go right here, just wait, just kind of put her forward. Perfect. You're doing great. There you go. Got it, neutral. Got it! What is it? Some fish. Oh, no! What is it? Oh, dead, but fuck! That is a baby halibut. I lied. It's a patrolly soul. It's dead. Can you use it as bait? Yeah, you can use that as bait. That's good bait. Good. Come back.
at the end of the day, they return to the lab with another full bucket of delicious crab. I want to welcome everyone here today on behalf of the Eureka Police Department in the city of Eureka, along with our Humboldt Bay Fire colleagues. Uh, we gather here today to honor two extraordinary citizens, Heidi Johnston, known to some as a superhero, the lady in pink, and Patrick Thomas, who's here to my, my right and your left. We commissioned the minting of a special challenge coin to be awarded to deserving individuals who give of themselves in an exceptional manner. This unique full color coin represents the Eureka Police Department's cherished values of valor, service, and community, and may be displayed proudly. On the afternoon of January 2nd, 2021, around 1.55 in the afternoon, the Eureka Police and Fire Emergency Dispatch Center received a report of a vehicle that was in the bay and occupied by one person. Heidi and her family immediately acted to assist the occupant of the vehicle by calling 911 and Heidi herself entered the waters of Humboldt Bay. As Heidi entered the bay, the truck was still afloat but quickly filling with water. The occupant of the vehicle appeared dazed to Heidi and was unable to assist in, assist in removing himself. She reached into the truck, unbuckled the occupant, grabbed onto him and pulled him out of the window as the truck was consumed by the bay. Patrick Thomas also responded with his personal boat, bringing it directly to Heidi and the unidentified citizen, where they all worked together to get the victim into the boat. Patrick then transported the victim to shore, where he was treated and transported by medical personnel. There is no doubt that Heidi's swift actions, along with the assistance of Patrick and the unknown citizen, saved the man's life. As Chief of Police, it is my pleasure to honor and recognize you for your courageous and selfless actions, Heidi and Patrick. Please accept with this coin the recognition and thanks of the Eureka Police Department. Chief, thank you, Chief, and it's it's an absolute honor to uh, to have served next to you, Heidi, in this rescue operation. And I think one thing that wasn't ever mentioned is Heidi originally got my attention to the matter. Uh, I didn't have my contact lenses and I couldn't see, but Heidi screamed that something was going on and she wanted to get people's attention. There were probably a dozen people that witnessed that accident, but Heidi was the first the first one in that water and the first one to take action. And I think we all know that uh, that water is not forgiving and it's not warm. And people are, are very, very heavy when they're soaked. And when I brought that, uh, when I got my boat up to Heidi, and uh, she, she pulled the boat in next to her and, and, and held us there while we got, where we got the gentleman on board. And uh, it took all my strength to, to get a wet gentleman on, onto my boat. And he was almost level at the top of his car. So what Heidi did was no nothing short of a miracle and nothing short of just a absolutely amazing. So Heidi, congratulations because you are you're you're one person that we we need in this world. We need people like you. And uh, it was an honor to uh, to have say that man's life with you. Thank you. After Patty receives his award, he heads back to the big boat to quickly chop up a large frozen chunk of squid before hitting the open sea for the day. Squid is used for its naturally offensive odor. The crabs can't resist. Today, Patty is looking to pick up two to four pots. He is also bringing his friend Tom out for his first time crabbing. That one got me. Yeah, I don't know, folks. All of a sudden, uh, I'm looking. I just saw. Yeah. 
these uh, just big ass white caps and these pacey waves are just really steep. Yeah, I see them. Look at that. If we were to see it today, this would be the best chance to see 86. There she is. No way. Bot number 86 no went way. missing nope. over a week ago right when the rope got 86. tangled and right pulled the too. buoy oh, okay. underwater. Got it back. Yeah, look, Fortunately for clock. Patty, the ocean day. untangled the lines and sent the buoy back to Neutral. the surface. I got it. The dredging zone is yep. an unavoidable area outside the channel entrance. Even when the ocean is calm, the dredge can have huge swells due to its uneven bottom. Okay. The pot comes up bad. full of crab. Patty discards an undersized crab and a female. This male will make the cut. This one won't. Patty and Raven scout for additional pots. Eventually, he will realize he needs larger buoys if he wants to stop oh, yeah. losing pots. Dolphin just popped behind us. Ah, best leave oh, mammal identification oh. to the professionals, Patty. That's a porpoise. Dolphins have longer noses, bigger mouth, more curved dorsal fins, and longer, leaner bodies than porpoises. Both, however, do have a hybrid vagina that allows them to mate with each other in the wild and birth the liger of the ocean. Tom is a fast learner and blushes with excitement when the pot comes up full of crabs with penises. After returning to port with the day's catch, Patty stores the crab in a pot with fresh food until he has enough to donate.